the Fox National Sports Report starts right now. Andrew Bynum has a double-double. I'm Julio Flores. Autumn around the screen towards the baseline. Lobs inside for Bynum, who caught it and dunked it in. 27 for Bynum. Spirit Eaters, AM570, KLAC, Los Angeles. Andrew Bynum finishing off with 27 points and 15 rebounds. Kobe Bryant had 30 points last night in the win against the Timberwolves, 132 to 119. Carmelo Anthony is back. Kenyon, left elbow to Millow. Spins down the lane, got open. The layup's up there, make it in. Great athletic maneuver for Millow. KCKK Nuggets Radio Network. Carmelo Anthony scored 19 points in his first game back from a broken hand, lifting the Nuggets to a 110-99 win over the Bobcats on Friday. Melo finished the night 5 for 12 from the floor and 9 of 11 from the free throw line. Other NBA scores: Bulls over the Kings, 109 to 88. Pacers over the Heat, 114 to 103. Mike Dunleavy had a season high, 30 points. Bucks got past the Raptors, 96 to 85. Hawks flew by the Nets, 105 to 88. Celtics trounced the Pistons, 86 to 78. Cavaliers whipping the Clippers, 112 to 95. Jazz by 20 over the Thunder, 110 to 90. And the Wizards got past the 76ers, 104 to 94. In baseball news. Joe Torrey talked about his book, The Yankees Years, on CNN on Larry King Live, his take on A-Rod. I know Alex, uh, he's a lightning rod. Everything he does, it always commands a great deal of attention. And, um, you know, that's something, I guess, that goes with the territory of being who you are, especially when you're playing for the New York Yankees. An AP source says Jason Veritek and the Red Sox are close to an agreement with a guaranteed $5 million for 2009 and player option of $3 million or a team option of $5 million for 2010. In the Australian Open, Rafael Nadal beat Fernando Verdasco in five sets. He'll be taking on Roger Federer for the finals on Sunday. On air, on TV, online. At FoxSports.com. Fox Sports. Radio.